in the first exercise we set up mini cube on our local machine that's your kubernetes cluster in this exercise 2 we are going to deploy our metadata service as pod in our mini cube cluster to get the image for our metadata service we can get the image directly from docker hub and to check we can just go to the endpoint actuator slash info let's get started so first i want to show you that i have this metadata service image available on docker hub if i just go to docker hub search for sunit parekh metadata you will get the metadata service i have two tags published version 1.0 and version 2.0 use 1.0 for this exercise so if i have to write pod specification my metadata pod looks like this so kind is pod name of the pod is metadata container specification name of the container metadata image i am using sunit parik slash metadata version 1.0 and my port is 8080 so let's deploy this right straight away so first i just want to show minikube is running my local machine i would just say kubectl get nodes wide so this is my single node minikube running kubectl get pods there is no pod running in my local cluster okay i'll just do a watch kubectl get pods no pods are running so i just have to do kubectl apply minus f size 2 metadata pod dot yaml so pod is getting created downloading the image i can do quickly kubectl describe pod metadata you'll see that you'll see all the events that has happened right so it successfully assigned the mini cube node image pulled successfully pulled the image container created container started you see my container running here now to access this i have to go inside my mini cube and using the pod ip should be able to access it so i'll say curl colon 8080 slash actuator slash info see the response from the metadata service so within the mini cube from my node machine i can access any pod using my pod ip endpoint status up right let's exit so now let's see how we can access from another pod to get the another pod what i'll do is like i'll use one of the images or the pod specification already available on kubernetes which is called dns utils so let me just create another pod using dns utils just copy this apply so i have dns util pods up and running so now i have a dns utils pod running let me just exec inside the dns utils pod and try to access metadata from there so i'm now inside my dns utils pod I'll go and run wget from here. Get the response. Let's look at the help point. Get the response, right? So I have my status up and running. So I can access from DNS utils pod my metadata service running as a another pod. So one pod to another pod is also accessible. This is a third way to access from my local machine. There is a specific utility available as part of the kubectl which is called port forwarding. So the command is kubectl port forward pod and the pod name followed by IP of the container port and then IP you want to map it to. So now I have this running on my local machine 8080. So if I go here localhost 8080 slash actuator slash info i can see this response right so this is my simple pod running with minimal configuration right 
if I go to my metadata pod, I don't have any any stuff other than image that I've specified. If I want to specify environment variable, I can use env tag inside my container uh, specification and say name of the environment field and the value there. Let's do deploy this. So let me just apply my metadata pod with environment variable. Create it running. So my pod is running now. Let's exec inside the pod. Name of the pod is metadata env. So I'm inside my pod. And now I can do, I can print all the en environments, right? So if you print all the environments, you will see one of the environment is info app version 2.0. Now, if I do minikube ssh and try to run curl command, you'll see that the version 2.0 is printed here, right? Which is picked up from the environment variable that we set using the pod.yml. So we have seen the environment now. Let's look at another pod.yml where we can specify the resource limits. We can specify memory and CPU limits that will be consumed by the pod. So you can start with some memory limit, that's the request limit, and then there is a maximum limit. So I can deploy this as well. So I exit from here, say kubectl created with limits. So let's describe this pod now. kubectl describe metadata limits and you can notice the limit specified here as part of the description if i go to the another one you'll notice that there is only an environment variable but no limit set so if this pod starts consuming more memory it can go up to the limit of the node memory available in my case it is 16 gb it can go up to that so it is very important and nowadays many organization is giving this as a mandate that okay for every pod specification that you provide you should have your resource quota set in your specification itself. So that's all I have my metadata service up and running deployed as a pod into my minikube kubernetes cluster.